Hey, all the audio freaks of the world out there, hope you're doing marvelously well, as one of my favorite YouTubers uh, is saying sometimes. I'm very, very good. I'm still here in my studio, Warsaw, Poland, and you know what? I really, really like this place. <laughs> mm, I also like cool studio equipment like monitors, interfaces, synthesizers, but you know, also some smaller studio stuff that's helpful in what I do on everyday basis. And as you do, I do a lot of stuff. And I discovered this. What's this plasticky, spacey, shiny thing? It's a transport controller, if you didn't know. Probably most of you already know. And well, this thing, I got it secondhand. It cost me 50 bucks. It's called Shuttle Pro version 2, made by Contour Design. No, I'm not sponsored by them. And actually today, I'd like to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and why is it actually so useful and why it's good to have one in your studio, whatever you do. Let's go for it. And today's setup is a bit different. I removed my AC box. No, not for good. It's gonna be back. <laughs> so I can put this thing here. I can put my coffee uh, as always. Nowhere. Mm, you must have place for your coffee in the studio. If you don't, something's wrong. Anyway, guys, I bought it secondhand as I told you. And what I should also say is that I was really surprised with the build quality. It is plastic, but it's very hard solid plastic material. It's also well designed for, for human hand, at least for my hand, and also feels and behaves really in a really cool way. It's responsive in, in a good physical way. Also, I've got a jog wheel here, but not only jog wheel like, like a regular jog here. I've got a double jog, as you can see. Can you see this? Yes, I got a double jog also here. Maybe more like this. I've got some buttons here. I've got two buttons here. And when I put my hand here, it really works. So I was like, wow, it's even better than I thought. And then a surprise came, <laughs> actually. But I'll tell you what it is after I connect it. Yeah, we're ready. And the surprise is, my friends, that, well, it's a dog controller, right? I thought this is MIDI and this is not MIDI. And I was, uh, what? And I was absolutely ready to send it back because I expected, I expected a MIDI device. But now I realized very quickly that the fact it's not MIDI is perfectly fine. It works as a virtual keyboard and well, every DAW is capable of transferring this into fully fledged transport control only you on using only key commands. And I did it in my new window and I'm going to show you how exactly I did it and how it behaves and why you should not be afraid of a transport DAW controller that is not MIDI driven. Let's go. This is the software I installed. Shuttle configuration. Yeah. When I press buttons, you see this application knows what I pressed. And then on a press button, I can press modifier keystroke. I can also emulate mouse click or mouse wheel. I can also switch some settings or even I can do macro, which is cool. I have Metagrid for macros. So chains of commands, but still this is cool. And also what's important, I can choose the settings per application that I'm currently using. And of course, I made a preset for Nuendo 11. And I've got some keystrokes here. I'm not gonna discuss them right now because we have to just go to Nuendo and discuss them. The point is that you choose the button like here, uh, you can make your keystroke. These are not only keystrokes you can press. As I told you, mouse click, mouse wheel, you can switch settings or do the macro. There's also something called frequency. Once only, hold down, hold down and auto repeat. And as fast as possible, also some time intervals per second, which is cool. I'm not using it right now, but probably it's kind of usable. Let's go to my DAW. 
and see how it works. So this is play and stop. This is cycle toggle. Cycle means loop. <laughs> it's cycle in Uendo and Cubase. Then I've got record button here and I've got also go to project start, go to project end. It's all here. The main transport buttons are here. I've got only but uh, I've got also buttons here and this is punch in and punch out. Uh, at first they seemed like weird, but no, it's perfectly fine using them. Uh, and here they are, these are the buttons for zooming. So I can zoom in and zoom out horizontally, horizontally and vertically. And also I can zoom in and out my mixer like this. Let's get back to main window. What is really cool is also this. And everybody who's a sound editor for video or sound designer for, for films and TV knows how important this is. <laughs> and this works very well, surprisingly well and nice. It's precise, yet it's very light, uh, light and smooth in, uh, while working. And there was also a cool surprise here. This thing does it like this, so forward and rewind. And when I press it more, I can make it fast forward and fast rewind, you see? Yeah. <laughs> and this is cool, and this is why I like it most. This plus this, like navigating through my project is finally really a cool process. And well, how to do this without MIDI? Come on, you have to, it's too complicated. No, it's not. I'm gonna show you. This thing, simply, when I jog right, it's like pressing pause button. Jog left is like pressing scroll lock. So these are the buttons for nudging up and down frame in Nuendo. And I do it once and there's a small jump in the controller and I do it second time, it's another key press. So that's how I can perfectly notch frames up and down in series. And as you can see, no MIDI is needed, but what about this? This is like weird. No, it's not. As you can see, there's shuttle in left first position, second position, third position, fourth, fifth, seven, and six. This is not like one command. These are seven different commands depending the position you're in. The same goes when you shuttle in right. And first three uh, no, first four uh, spaces of movement are one uh, key stroke and position five, six, seven are another key stroke. This is simply rewind and this is fast rewind. Same for right. And until I hold it in the position, it's like holding the key pressed. So my rewind or fast forward or whatever keeps going simply. Very easy, no MIDI needed. It's all there at your keyboard. I also got some more buttons here. And what they do is that I can change my quantization settings here. And this very last button simply changes my basic main time formats. And that's actually it, guys. It's a really, really simple thing that makes your studio life easier, whether you're tracking, whether you're editing, sound designing, producing music, whatever. And I'm really kind of surprised, why can I see people's pictures from the studio and they are not having this? But well, I also didn't have this. Hey, I had something else before, I'm gonna show you even. Mm. Yeah, there it is. I've got even something like this. That was my controller with a jog wheel. Uh, I've made it using Touch OSC application, another great thing. And I also got transport here, like uh, cycle, stop, record, um, uh, nudging left, uh, right, uh, uh, fast forward and rewind and stuff. I had this. I went through Behringer X Touch uh, also. I went through some other wheels and controllers, but nothing really suited me. I always needed this but I could never get a really good one. And I believe that this small thing called Shuttle Pro V2 by Contour Design 
is going to stay with me longer and I can really recommend it to you guys. Let's sum the things up. Yeah, right, but you're gonna ask or guess if this guy is not sponsored by them, why is he recommending this to us? Well, because I feel like making your studio life better, easier. I, I wish you worked more efficient. I wish you were more, pro more productive, even more than you are already. And guys, this is like why I'm doing this channel. When I see a good product, I feel like recommending, rec recommending it to you because there's a shitload of bad products on the market and they are marketed like amazing stuff that's, oh, and you know, it's often untrue. And it, it's more important to recommend something that's really good and worth your effort because, well, I don't have to make a, any direct profit out of it. This is kind of a responsibility of me as a guy on YouTube simply to pick good stuff for you. So I really hope that you can trust the fact that I'm not sponsored by this company. I simply bought their product, even secondhand, and I can fully, fully recommend it because it really does make your studio life easier. Its functionality and build quality are great. Hope you're gonna get one for yourself. Take care, see you soon.